Hey folks, welcome back to another video on the channel. In this video, I am going to tell you how you can get any course or specialization on Coursera for free of cost. We will be using the financial aid option which is present along with the enroll button which will help us to get the course free along with the certificate. Let's look at how we can do this. So here you can see that this is a course named programming for everybody getting started with Python. So this course is available for a 7 day trial period and you can audit this course by paying 3584 rupees which will allow you to get the certificate as well. But here you can see that this course is also having a financial aid option available. So let's see how we can apply for the same. So once I'll be clicking on this financial aid option, uh, this will be opening a pop up for me and it will be asking me to continue to the application or enrolling now. So I will be clicking on the continue to the application option present over here. This option will be opening a new page where you have to check on these two options which are available and type I agree to the terms above and click on the continue option. Now a new page will be opening where you have to provide some things accurately. So let's see what all things we need to include. So the first thing which we need to include is the educational background. So for this select your educational background. It hardly matters what you choose here. Next you need to enter your annual income. So for this enter zero if you are a student and not earning currently if you are earning less then you can enter that but if you are earning soon then i would suggest you to pay for the course rather than applying for the financial aid for employment status choose the one which you are currently having the preferred one would be a student as if you are working full time then there are fewer chances that you will be able to complete the course in the given time next we have a question which asks how much can you afford to pay enter zero as you are not earning so you won't be able to pay anything for the course now Next you have three questions here you have to explain why you are applying for the financial aid application and how this course will be helpful for you to achieve your career goals and why can't you use a low interest loan to pay for these courses. Now let me tell you the answer to each of this which I use so the first question which asks you why are you applying for financial aid. For this you can start with your name and the university at which you are currently studying. Tell them you want to learn python or any other thing which you want the course for. Explain that you don't have a job of your own and you are not earning enough for now to pay for the course and cannot afford to pay anything for the course and this course will be the first step which you will be taking to help you get a job. You can also mention how this course can help you in your future and how you will be benefiting from it. Make sure to mention that you will be completing the course in the mentioned time frame and that you will be participating in the discussions and will be helping your peers with your knowledge. Let me show you what I have written. So here it goes. Hey, my name is Harsh Kumar Khatri and I am currently pursuing my bachelor's degree from Career Point University, Kota. I want to learn Python and advance with a career option where I'll be using Python in my full time job. I think that this course will be helping me learn and get started with the basics of Python in no time. The reason I am applying for the financial aid is that I am currently not working anywhere and I do not have a full time job yet. And because of this, I am unable to pay for the course. I have other expenses to manage as well and I am not financially independent yet and I am badly in need of this financial aid. I want this course to help me learn the skills which will surely benefit me in my future. This course will not only help me learn the skills and get better with them but also will provide me with the certificate as well which will help me showcase it to the recruiters and let them know about the skills which I possess. I assure you that I'll be completing each of the videos and articles which are present in the course along with the assignments mentioned. I also assure you that I'll be participating in the discussions in the forum and will help my peers get better with the knowledge I possess. So this was it for the answer. I won't suggest you to copy the answer but form your answer around the points which I have mentioned which will make your answer look different and help your application get approved. The next question which is present here is how will this course help you achieve your career goals? For this you can start with mentioning about your career goals and like what all the things which you want to achieve in your life, what all the things uh, you have done till now to achieve your career goal and you can conclude with how this course will be helping you to achieve your career goals and how this will be helping you to learn the skills and, um, uh, and improve with them. Let me show you what I have written. So here it goes. My career goal is to become a software developer who works on developing software from scratch being a part of a team or individually. As Python is being used widely in the market and is predicted to be one of the top languages to be used in the upcoming time, I want to make Python my go-to language. This course has various things related to Python which are covered in it and this will help me learn those basics and get started with my Python development journey. 
In short, this will be helping me improve my knowledge and advance with it. This course aligns with my career goal and will help me get better with my skills which will help me achieve my career goal someday. This course will also provide me with the knowledge which I can use to work on the projects which would help me improve my skills and will also help me improve my CV. To sum up, this will help me achieve the goals which I have. So this concludes the answer. Again, try to form your answer around the points which I have mentioned rather than pasting the same answer. The third one asks you to select if you are to use a low interest loan to pay for the course. Select no for this and in the last text field enter this. As I am still studying and I don't have any job for now, I don't have any money which I can use to pay off the loans. I can invest my time for now but not any money as I don't have any. At last click on the I am not a robot option and then hit the submit application button. At max it takes 15 days for the application to be reviewed and you will be getting a mail if your application is approved or declined. In 99.99% .99 of the cases the application is approved. In case if you have got a rejection mail then it will be having the things mentioned which you need to add to your application and resubmit it which will finally get your application approved. As I have applied for the application now and today is this date. Let me show you on Google. I will continue the video once I have got the approval mail. So here you can see that my financial aid application has been approved. So as I am voice overing this video, the video playing in the background is different but I am voice overing the video in a uh, one go. So let me show you that uh, my financial application has been approved. So here you can see exactly after 14 days the application has been approved and now I can start working on the course. So this is the way you can apply for financial aid applications and get any of the courses present on Coursera for free of cost. Hope you got to know about something new from this video. Comment down below which course you are going to get by using this method and applying for financial aid. Also subscribe to the channel to get updates about the latest videos and videos are being posted regularly. That was it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.